One of the top documented consumer concerns about RVs is water leaks. So today at the Institute, we're going to be studying insulation and the ceiling of RVs. Let's start by looking at how most RVs are insulated with fiberglass. While fiberglass is okay at insulating, it was never meant to seal out water, so it doesn't. Here in the Amazology Test Lab, we'll be testing the sealing properties of touch and seal foam insulation. But first, let's see how fiberglass insulation handles water infiltration. If water gets inside an RV, fiberglass doesn't seal it. It actually holds water inside the walls. Not good. Let's change the paradigm. What if the insulation also keeps water out? We are now spraying touch and seal from seal design into the tank. Touch and Seal is a closed cell foam that is virtually impervious to water with an excellent insulation value of R7.2 per inch. Not a single drop has passed the touch and seal foam. So imagine how well it will seal your RV. Spray touch and seal inside an RV's walls and roof instead of fiberglass and it insulates at the same time that it seals out water. Seal Design provides expert process support to manufacturers make RVs with touch and seal an efficient, cost-effective, competitive advantage versus any fiberglass insulated RV. Seal Design has some amazing sealants to keep water out, but today we've learned that touch and seal does two things. It's an excellent insulation and it helps to protect RVs from water infiltration. This is great for RV owners and because it can lessen the potential for water damage, it can also help reduce manufacturer warranty costs. Ha <laughs> ha! 